if I was to simplify it, he puts the Lego pieces together. So essentially the fabricator will receive the components and the drawings for, for the project that he or she may be working on and, uh, and will essentially put those pieces together into the fabricated completed product. Uh, a fabricator needs to interpret the blueprints in order to put the pieces of the steel together. A welder uh, comes in after the fact, welds the seams. So inherently there's, there's a lot more uh, development done up front, planning of how to put the product together from a fabricator's perspective than from a welder. Uh, the fabricators that we hire that have gone through the schooling BCIT is we hire them because they have the ability to do both. Um, they can weld and they can fabricate. You can get all the welding tickets in the world you want, but having the ability to be a fabricator is probably the best thing I have ever done in, in my career because it's allowed me to do what I do here now. Um, the shop environment today is a much cleaner environment. The air quality is 100% better. I think that's due largely to advances in technology. Well, for a trade, the wages are excellent. They're, they're well above average, and on top of that, you have uh, very good benefits as well. A person has to work hard. They have to be punctual. They have to show up to work. They like to have to work with their hands, crawl over things, and create things. There's the same equal opportunity for women as there is for men. Well, the first thing I think we look for an employee is attitude um, and uh, dedication to, to their career and to their trade and to the company. Uh, a younger person will start doing the simpler tasks until they've mastered them and then we put them on to the next level and we, we ensure that they work with uh, different experienced fabricators with, uh, with years and years of experience or decades so that they can learn the tricks of the trade. They can understand how to develop a cone or a hillside nozzle or uh, you know, a complex piece of geometry uh, interpreted from the blueprints. Fabricator, I think, needs to have uh, good problem solving skills. If you're mechanically inclined, you're into anything from cars to any other sort of hobbies that you're working with your hands, this might be right up your alley. That's one thing I know, I see something, I'm like, if I analyze it a bit, I can build it. If you once you got your ticket and your BCIT and your, and your ITA certificate, you're able to travel all over the world. We're going to be facing quite a number of retiring, uh, experienced tradespeople. So one of the challenges will be managing the apprenticeship programs and the manpower to replace that experience. You're highly employable as a fabricator. There's not many of you out there and um, it's a great trade. It's very interesting. You're usually the first one hired in a shop when, when a project starts and you're usually the last one to leave. Like this bridge, you got to build your future on a solid footing and foundations like hard work, good attitude, a willingness to learn and work with others go a long way into maintaining one's employability, ability to move throughout the province if need be. And once an individual achieves their qualification and certification, their long-term job prospects are very, very bright.